Greetings lords and ladies, I am the mighty Gammon. Today I'll be looking at how to fist the battlefront with both Darth Vader and Anakin Skywalker. I know they're the same person, but their good and evil characters have very different movesets. So don't step on me brother, don't step on me bruv. Before we start, I just have to welcome all of my new subscribers. Thanks to you glorious people, we now have a community 500 strong and growing. A thank you to anyone who's come over from TikTok too. I hope you enjoy the longer form content content I post on this channel and welcome to the community. If you have any requests on games or topics you'd like to see a video on, please leave them in the comments below. I will attempt to fulfill your request if I have the time. With Darth Vader, if you don't max level his bonus health card and equip it at all times, you are a Kaiju class Mong. Look at yourself. Are you not embarrassed? What a disgrace. Anyway, equip this card to get a juicy bonus to your maximum health. This turns Vader, who is already the highest health villain in the game, into a mountain of HP. With this extra health, you have an immediate advantage over the enemy team. If you are proficient with Vader, you can even take on three light side heroes and win, thanks to tanking most of their lucky shots. You'll have to watch a different YouTuber for that footage because I'm shite, but you get the idea. Look at me beating this Ewok in a 1v1. That is the power of a true Sith. You literally cannot do this with any other character. Another great card to equip is his extended saber throw range. Vader's lightsaber throw ability recharges very quickly, so you'll be using it a lot. It helps immensely to be able to use it against enemy snipers on the other side of the map. I did the math, and with the card equipped he throws the lightsaber 500 miles, then it returns 500 more just to end up at your door. His third card can be whatever you want, at this point he's so strong that it doesn't even matter. I advise extending his rage ability duration, or reducing his deflection stamina drain, or just leave the third star card completely empty to really flex on the 10 year olds in the lobby. The best way to play Vader is to jump headfirst into the entire enemy team and swing wildly. You see, they'll be so scared of your power that they will miss every shot and give you Jesus Christ what the f- <laughs> Vader is vulnerable to green glow stick wielding gremlins jumped up on heroin. Vader's force choke is a great ability that works 9% of the time. The only way enemies can avoid the AoE of this choke is by doing something on this very small list. The list is as follows. Rolling, dodging, aiming, shooting, walking, running, existing, emoting, holding a weapon, being a hero, being a specialist, being a reinforcement, being an assault, being a heavy, being an officer, using a jetpack, having a cup of tea in their hand and having a pair of eyes. As a Vader player, it is your job to maintain order in the game chat. Make sure you respectfully address your peers to control the flow of conversation. Only contribute relevant information to the team, like me. The best part about playing anyone on the dark side is being thrown around the map like a little bitch by a force push every 10 seconds. I am a Sith Lord, goddammit. Hide your kids, hide, just just hide your kids, Anakin is here. I personally max out his force pull ability to cause maximum damage to enemies before they even reach you. No younglings can escape when you have a maximum pull range star card equipped. They could f off to Tibet, and I would have men, nutters from Naboo, up a mountain in yeti suits ready to force pull you back to me thanks to this star card. The extra pull damage card makes it so Anakin can destroy even heavily armoured younglings when he pulls them to him. Max this card out and you need only two enemies in range to activate this effect. That is double the number of friends that I have. Having a star card equipped to increase your heroic might ability damage is something I also recommend, as this comes in handy when fighting heroes or doubling down on the damage from your force pull. It's also handy because Anakin is missing a hand. <laughs> the best way to play Anakin Anakin is to make it rain droids and then hide behind your teammates. Rinse and repeat. You see, high level players won't tell you this, but they always run away from a fight. If there is even a 1% chance they might die, they cannot risk it. If they die, who will hog the hero all game while simultaneously being absent from almost all areas of the map? The answer is everyone. Everyone will do this. How hard is it to play the objective when you have a close range weapon? You aren't Han Solo, you bastards! Bastards! Call this a diplomatic solution. 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 Call this a dip Like with Vader, you can jump straight into the enemies without thinking, and you can easily win. Almost nothing can stop you. With us. The only combo you need to use as the chosen one is as follows. That's it. 
you win. Congratulations. Anakin can take on anything with his crazy damage output. Oh god, oh bollocks, I lied. Ah! Yeah, I still won. I'm the most powerful Jedi ever. I will bring peace, freedom, justice and security to my new empire, uh, to my new daycare center.